I don't specifically go out looking for sciencey things that I want to make into art. It's just more of a being immersed in, in the beauty that is, is biology that inspires my art. When you dissect a termite and look under, look at it, it's got contents under the microscope. It's just a churning mass of, of protists and I often wonder if they, the termites know that they're in there. Just, just the sheer volume of protists that live in the termite I find is fascinating. And then when you start looking at the individual protists, they themselves have symbiotic bacteria that help digest the wood. And so if you take the, the protists out of the termites, the termites will starve to death. When I see something in the lab that I find beautiful, like the, the microbes in, in the termites, and I, I, I just feel inspired to, to make them in, in metal. The very first one was a dinoflagellate, and then I was inspired to make a series. I make my art as something that I need to just get out of out of my myself. Like it's it's in like all my art is inside. It sounds silly, but it's inside me, and I just I need to get it out. For me, the the, the working in the metal and and being at the lab bench are, are very are very similar. I don't think science and art are, are separate entities. The way I look at life, it, it's almost through the scientific method. So the scientific methods you observe, you, you ask a question, and you need to be creative in how to, to, how to answer that question by designing experiments. And I think designing experiments is incredibly creative. I'm a scientist and an artist, and I don't know how it works for other people, but it, it's just innate in me. Thank you.